What's going on everyone? This is Alex USA Days. Uh, so today we're going to have a little bit of uh, fun time. Uh, one of the most popular questions during the interview uh, when developer says that the issue that you found is not a bug and how you handle it. Uh, so <laughs> we can ask that chat GPT and see what uh, chat GPT says about this question and how chat GPT suggests we should reply to this interview question. And then I'm going to have my opinion uh, on how to properly answer this question. Now, to give you some background, I've been QA manager. Uh, I've asked this question. I've been asked uh, was this question, and I asked it. So uh, I have some idea. Um, if you have a better response to that question, you're also welcome to put it in the chat, in the comment section. Okay, so let's grab uh, the question here. So the developer says, "All right, let me show. Let me show my screen." Uh, hoppa, here we are. So, um, the developer says this is not a bug. What would you do? Let's go ahead and ask. I probably should change. Put it right here. Okay. Um, here's the response. As a language model, I don't have personal opinion or experience, but here's a common approach to this situation. First, Ask for clever clarification. Try to understand the reasoning behind developer statement by asking for more information about the issue. Sure. Uh, gather information, collect as much information about the issue as possible, including logs, error messages, and steps to reproduce the problem. That's pretty good. Review documentation. Uh, check the documentation and any relevant specification to see if the behavior in question is expected. That is actually pretty awesome. Uh, reproduce the issue. Try to reproduce the issue on your own, own machine or environment to confirm that it's not a local problem. Okay. Escalate if necessary. If the issue cannot be resolved through discussion and collaboration, it may be necessary to escalate the matter to a higher authority, such as project or supervisor. It is important to approach the situation in a professional, respectful manner and keep open mind as the behavior may, may have a different perspective that can provide valuable insight into resolving this issue. This is actually a really, really good response. Um, I want to tweak the question a little bit. The developer says this is not about what QA should do. So uh, it's going to be a little bit different approach here. Okay. Here we go. As a quality assurance professional, your goal is to verify that the software meets the specified requirements and works as intended. If developer states that certain issue is not a bug, here are some steps you can take. First, gather information, collect as much information about the issue as possible. Okay, we've seen this. Reproduce the issue. Review documentation. Escalate if necessary. Okay, so... Uh, essentially, okay, the same response, <laughs> the same response. Okay, let me ask, should I fight? Should I fight, <laughs> fight developer if he or she says that this ish, this issue is not a bug? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay no it's not appropriate to fight with a developer over the issue <laughs> as, a, as a quality assurance professional you roll to identify potential issues uh, okay and okay I, I guess it's going with the same answer if developer says that an issue is not a bug it's important to approach the situation in a professional and respectful manner Start by gathering information about the issue and attempt to reproduce it. Then engage in a constructive dialogue with the developer, understand their perspective, and provide your own evidence to support your position. If the issue can be resolved through discussion and collaboration, it may be necessary to escalate it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good response. Uh, so, ChatGPT actually may be a very good assistant to prepare yourself for interview. Uh, what would I do, right? So for this question, when someone asks me, I know that this is uh, a behavioral question. There could be 
only one good way to approach and solve this, really. So if someone says that this behavior is not a bug, so it's either you who are correct or the developer, uh, because the requirements have to be actually pretty specific on what the product should do. So first thing first, what you want to do uh, first, as Chad GPT said, keep it professional. So it's always uh, just a professional discussion. Do not argue. Do not you know. Do not get emotional over it. it. You know, you're just doing your work. You're trying to make sure that product works as expected. That's it. Um, so well, you want to see if there is an actual requirement for this behavior. So go and pull up some documentation and try to find the requirement. Um, if there's a requirement in the story, so you can point that requirement there. If there's story related to that specific behavior, you can point it in the bug. Uh, try to always leave a paper trace. So essentially saying, hey, I found this requirement, the specific behavior is violated in this requirement and point it uh, in the bug. So expect the behavior according to certain document or a story or a feature implemented. Uh, if there's no requirement, if there's no requirement, then you have to clarify the behavior and check with a, a product manager, right? So the product manager will tell you, okay, this is the actual behavior. We didn't put the requirement for that, but this is what we expect. Also, all of this conversation has to be, you know, in the bug itself. So saying, okay, after the clarification with the product manager, uh, it was discovered that this behavior is in fact an issue and should be fixed, right? Or this behavior is not an issue and then you can safely close uh, the bug. Now, if requirement, if the product manager says the requirement has changed or we need to update the acceptance criteria, so this is actually not an issue or it's a, an issue, but you know, uh, the requirement's still different. If there is uh, an update to the requirements, you should ask product manager to update it into in the story or in the bug. So you, there is a trace saying, okay, this requirement uh, was saying that the page should be read, but there was an actual update that were not reflected anywhere, but product manager is aware of that update. And now this page has to be blue. Okay, so, but you want the requirements to be updated. Because um, at some point you might return to the same issue again, or it's going to be rediscovered, or someone going to ask it. Maybe uh, the customer going to come back with it saying, "Hey, I wanted this red. Why is it blue?" Uh, you will have a paper trace saying, "Okay, this was actually updated, and this is per the requirement." And as uh, Chat GPT says, "Keep it professional." Uh, you know, you want to engage in a discussion and. Uh, maybe show the issue, show the documents to the developer first. Try to resolve it with the developers through a dialogue and point you to the requirements. Or maybe clarifying why the developer thinks this is not an actual bug, right? Uh, maybe requirement does not exist. Uh, and, you know, clarifying with the product manager, product manager say, hey, there's no requirement. This feature is not implemented. Since it is not implemented, this actually is not a bug. It's going to be a feature request or a new story that we're going to implement. Uh, if you believe it is a bug, uh, it is your job to make sure that the quality of the software st stays on a high level um, and developer still disagrees with you. So you don't fight a developer, right? You just uh, make sure you put in the uh, the bug saying discussion with developer, uh, you know, oh, we're not agreeing on this and tag product manager. So they can clarify and actually say, okay, it has to be fixed or, you know, it doesn't need to be fixed. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I think Chad GPT has a lot of potential um, to answer your interview questions. I wonder like if we can just very quickly say something else that is quite often asked like um why are you why are you looking for a change uh change of uh company uh, during let's put during QA interview
Okay, uh, as an AI language model, I don't have personal experience. Okay, uh, possible answers for QA engineer professional. Growth opportunities. You may be looking for a company where you can grow, develop professionally. This could include opportunities for advancement, training, and development programs, the exposure to new technologies and methodologies. Work-life balance. You may be seeking a company that value work-life balance, provides support in a flexible environment. This could include flexible schedules. Culture fit. You may be looking for a company that aligns with your values and has a positive, supportive work culture. Uh, impactful work. You may be seeking a company where you can make a meaningful impact and contribute to the success of the organization. Uh, I think HR has to be have to be a little bit worried about this right now because ChatGPT is giving pretty good answers to the interview questions. Uh, so anyone can really go and prepare themselves uh, to the upcoming interview, especially if they have some access to the questions or they uh, can research the company, found the question that were asked before on Glassdoor or any other uh, job search web page. And they just going to feed it into chat GPT, get a response, save it, and then use it during the interview. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, hopefully you had fun uh, as much as I did. This was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.